Hey, what's up guys? Reviewing an AI project here called Chain over in the Cosmos ecosystem. On their Twitter, it says layer one of AI Oracle and trustworthy proofs. And they've been in mainnet since 2021 and they have 47 and at 47 and a half thousand followers on Twitter. So I wanna check this one out, see if it's something to possibly hold into the next bull run or if it's just complete garbage. Some of this AI stuff is complicated and if you're like me, I'm not exactly sure how it is going to fit into crypto. So actually, very soon, next week, I'm hoping Tyree Robinson, who is head of the Orichain ecosystem, I'm gonna have him on for an interview. So hopefully he can clear more stuff up. So if you're catching this video, if you have any questions about Orichain, drop them down in the comments so I can get some ideas for questions to ask them on that interview. Moving into it here from their main website, IBC enabled layer one. So it is in the Cosmos uh, Cosmos chain, Cosmos ecosystem. It's partners, Aster Network, Syscoin, which is a Bitcoin interoperability solution, to my understanding, uh, Cosmos Wasm and Tron. And they do also have an accelerator program, so they're trying to build out this ecosystem, which is good. What is the problem Chain is really trying to solve? They did a pretty good job describing this in the docs. A couple things I wanna cover. Why conventional blockchain doesn't include AI models? which I did not know that that wasn't possible. Strictness, smart contracts allow, smart contracts always follow strict rules in which the inputs must be 100% accurate to generate an output. So smart contracts are if then statements essentially. So if, if five goes into smart contract, it must output seven. But if you have you know, more robust things. Smart contracts, they're deterministic in that way. Environment, smart contracts are mostly written in a high level programming languages, whereas AI models right now are typically written in Python or Java. And data size. Smart contracts typically have low data so that they can keep the gas fees low and only do a certain few things. But AI models are much bigger and they're gonna take up a lot more data. So having them in the smart contract would be really expensive for the user. What is a ride chain bringing to the table? So it could be a bridge to bring AI to smart contracts. The ride chain mechanism seems similar to band protocol and chain link, but it focuses more on AI APIs and the quality of the provided AI models. They've got AI oracles where you could tap into the AI algorithms, an AI marketplace where you could create algorithms and go and put those onto the market and then dApps they could tap into that. And then it could be an AI provider. So if you're able to create an AI algorithm, you can come in here and you could potentially make a living doing that. And this is what a process would look like. You and I over here, we're using a smart contract. You have an AI API request, it goes in, validators test the AI models, do all this stuff. And if it returns back positive, then we pay some money for it to execute. They do have a fair amount of dApps being built over here, which is great to see. You've got DinoHub, which looks like the marketplace for these AI algorithms where you could come in here. It looks like you can do a few different things. So buy AI APIs, request for artificial intelligence. So maybe you've got an idea, but you're not a developer and someone could pick that up and then maybe create that for you and request for AI oracles. AI write looks pretty interesting. AI based NFT authenticity verifying service, but it's also it's images, music, and video. They do have a bridge and they are tapped into uh, Ori chain, Cosmos, Ethereum, Tron, and the BNB chain. And they've got an order book as well. However, I haven't connected a wallet or anything. I don't think that that should matter, but the only pair that's here is for Arai and USDT. So they definitely need to build this out more, but it looks like you can do limit orders. It's got an average block time of 5.62 seconds with 52 active validators out of 105. I'm wondering if it maybe the half churns every once in a while because that's like exactly half. And they've got an inflation rate right now of 10%. However, they do have a max supply right now of just under 21 million tokens with about two third of that already circulating, which is a good thing. While we're here, market cap is less than 30 million while I'm recording this video and it's ranked 549 over on CoinGecko. So this, if this happens to do something well in the next bull run, there's a lot of potential upside. 
And by the way, none of this is financial advice, right? Be always be sure to do your own research. I'm just some random YouTuber. They did just revamp their tokenomics. This was published August 11th, so just about two weeks ago. And it looks like the point is mainly to shift over into more of a DAO. I'm not sure if it's always been a DAO, but from these new token allocations, that's kind of what I'm gathering. You'll see what I mean here. Important note, if you already own some Arai, this will not result in dilution of Arai holders or DAO members. What they're doing is just reallocating, it looks like. So they're eliminating the team allocation, and they're also eliminating the advisor allocation. And I suspect, this is just a guess, but maybe that, you know, makes them a little bit more safe in terms of, you know, is this a security? Is this not a security type of thing? And this will result in boosting the ecosystem allocation. Here we have what that emission schedule is going to look like. So today is it's August 2023. You've got two thirds of the supply out. So another one third will release over, it looks like the next four years. So this looks pretty linear. So it doesn't look like there's any massive token unlocks or anything like that, where that, that would necessarily drive down or cause a major drop in the price. Although there's always whales, they could be saving up money and that could still always happen, but no unlocks, it looks like for that to happen. How will each allocation be used? So the ecosystem first, which is this big yellow in the middle here, primarily used for block rewards, but can also be allocated for new liquidity pools and liquidity mining incentives. The Dow Treasury, our expectation is that the Arai Chain Dow will continue to organize, formalized standard procedures for community-led initiatives, including developer incentives programming, marketing actions, and educational content creation. And the foundation, which is this massive blue section here, that is used to support research and development for Arise open source core protocols. I don't know if all of it is open so source, but the core protocols at least are. Provide funding for foundation hosted hackathons and other stuff to just you know grow the grow the ecosystem and build the product. I do like the look of it. I like the dApps. It's in the Cosmos, which if you like that environment, then it's pretty cool. Their wallets are pretty easy to use. I've never had anything but a pretty positive user experience over there. My problem is I'm just not exactly sure how this AI stuff is going to be tapped into blockchain. So that's one question that I might ask Tyree when we do the interview. But overall, I will be following this one and it does seem like a pretty interesting project. If you like this review, don't forget to check out this one over here on Actus, which is another AI project that has a very small market cap at this point in time. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video.